Hello, my name is Ben Hahn. I'm the uh, Vice President and Value Stream Leader of the Sensor Switch, uh, an Acuity Brands company. I'm going to talk to you today about uh, the Enlight Digital Control System. Uh, Nlight's been around for about five years. Uh, it traditionally, and it's, it's been installed all over the country uh, and internationally. Uh, originally, it, it's been installed a lot for, to control fluorescent uh, lighting systems or, uh, using you know, relays, power packs, zero to 10 volt dimming. However, uh, what we're showing here at Lightfair today is our uh, interface with our Lithonia's LED lights. In every Lithonia uh, LED fixture, there's a device called a DEO. An EO is an end light device that is uh, powered off of the uh, dimming driver in the fixture. It has two RJ45 ports and it connects into the uh, LED driver to both control uh, the fixture up and down for dimming as well as to turn it on and off. It provides user uh, addressability over the end light system and lumen management for the fixture. Uh, and it does a number of things for the fixture. The first is it provides what we call lumen management. Now lumen management takes advantage of the common practice uh, that traditionally lighting designers will uh, design a space for maintained lumens because they, they need to compensate for the fact that over time the lumen output of a fixture will decrease or uh, will decrease over time. And so day one they're actually overlighting a space. Well obviously if you're overlighting a space, you're, you're wasting energy. So what the NEO device does is it keeps track of the number of hours that a fixture is, is running. And over time, and, and it also knows the uh, depreciation curve of those LEDs. So over time, as the number of operating hours increases, it will slowly step up from 80% day one to 100% uh, to at, at the end of life. So day one, you're actually saving 20% energy uh, uh, but and then reaching the actual uh, uh, full output of the fixture uh, at, at the end of life. But notice the, the light output is actually constant over the life of the fixture, which is really what the user wants. So that's, that's one reason that the NEO, uh, the Enlight enabled NEO, is putting all these fixtures. The next is, is more traditional, and that's uh, uh, addressability. So every one of these fixtures is digitally addressable. However, to do that, we're not actually having to uh, add a lot of, or any low voltage 18.3 uh, wire. Everything is connected up with Cat5. You'll notice that there's two RJ45 ports on this NEO device. Uh, that those RJ45 ports are accessible on the back of all these fixtures. And standard Cat5e cable is used then to connect them up. Uh, along the way, you might connect in an occupancy sensor, a photo cell, or wall stations which we have over here. So this, this entire room with all these fixtures is all wired together. Uh, for example purposes we put some other sensors here on the wall and light as a full line of, of uh, digital occupancy sensors. We also have uh, a lot of different wall stations. And lights wall controls are called wall pods. We have push button on off, on off with raise lower, dual on off with dual raise lower, uh, single two four and eight scene controller. There's also a graphic station that allows you to control things from a touch screen. The graphic wall pod, you're, you're able to scroll between many pages of, of controls, turn them on and off, raise and lower the dim level, or run scenes directly from this with, with the scene control. And again, all these devices are powering off of the uh, bus power provided by the fixture. So from a labor standpoint, there's no, uh, there's, there's a significant savings because your, uh, your contractor is not having to run any uh, extra power wires to any control devices. They're only running the power wires to the fixtures what they would have been doing anyway. Now, typically in a, in a, in a large space, there's going to be some LEDs, some, some fluorescence, uh, possibly even incandescence. And, and Enlight can switch and dim all these different sources, and, and they do it with using all the same type of uh, occupancy sensors and switches. So again, to the end user, Enlight is a very uh, s simple system. So this would be an example of one Enlight zone. So over the course of a building, you have many zones of devices. They all would get then connected together in a backbone into devices we call bridges. You can have up to eight zones 
plugged into each bridge. As many bridges would be necessary would then be connected up, eventually finding up, finding their way back to uh, a device we call the gateway. The gateway uh, has both the time clock as well as the uh, interface to a, an Ethernet LAN. Connecting Cat5 between all these zones sometimes is, uh, is, is cost prohibitive because of the long runs of Cat5 or because of uh, firewalls or other things that make running Cat5 between rooms uh, not, not cost effective. So at this show, we're, we're actually uh, launching our Nlight Wi Fi product line. Nlight Wi Fi takes advantage of the, uh, the very ubiquitous uh, usage of, of Wi Fi in, in buildings today. Also, all we're doing is adding 802.11n, which is the Wi Fi IEEE standard, to, um, to our Nlight enabled device. A one Nlight enabled device per room, for example, a power pack or uh, or, a, or a bus power supply. Uh, if, we, if we're switching fluorescence, and by doing that, you now can jump on to a Wi-Fi network that a school or an office would already have. The data rate that we're actually adding to that uh, a Wi-Fi network is very small, periodic 50-byte packets that are all event-based. So, from an IT perspective, uh, we're, we're not burdening their IT network. But again, from an overall cost of ownership, you've eliminated a lot of Cat5 in their plenums and really made it a, a, a very nice network. Uh, and Wi-Fi really makes the hybrid approach kind of the optimum one. Uh, every space in a building may not be the perfect candidate for wireless, wireless or for wired. And so with N-Wi-Fi, you can, you can say for a school, have all the classrooms, may not be a big issue to, to wire them uh, together. However, in the gymnasium, it may make sense to put a uh, uh, a Wi-Fi enabled fixture mount sensor on every fixture so that you can uh, uh, you know, zone them or have individual control. Uh, N-Lite, once you do have everything connected to the backbone, the backbone, uh, the gateway has a, uh, uh, an Ethernet port which then goes to uh, our, our SenseView software. SenseView is hosted on one machine uh, but then any, uh, any users can access it through a web browser. Uh, here, here we have uh, our SenseView software, which is uh, web-based. This is just an overview. We're actually looking at our facility back in Connecticut. Uh, you'll see there's 137 devices in this particular uh, system. So if you go to Devices, you actually see a whole tree of the entire uh, building. We're going to go into one particular office, which uh, is Jared's office here. And you'll see all the devices are, are shown over here on the, uh, with the image as well as basic info. We can drill into all the devices. Here we have an occupancy sensor. You can name it. If we go into settings, you'll see all the, all the settings and parameters of, it, of every device, uh, such as time delay, can be set remotely. You can set up the, uh, uh, what devices are tra tracking each other. Uh, special modes of sequence of operation all can be done through this remotely. You can do them one device at a time, one zone at a time, or you can group them together and set many devices all at the same, uh, you know, with one, with one uh, click. If we go in even deeper, then we can look at status. And so in, in real time, we can see that uh, in Jared's office here, uh, he last moved 20 seconds ago because we see the actual PIR time delay uh, counting down. If he was talking, we would see the microphonic uh, uh, icon twitch. The, uh, if you go into a photo cell, you get even more information about uh, what the current light level is, what the, uh, uh, what the dim level of the, f of the device is. All this, again, is tracked in real time. If you would like to uh, backhaul all of this information into a database so that you can analyze it for uh, performance or for uh, energy analysis, we have what's called our green screen software, which we have uh, put in the loads for, the, uh, for, for all the uh, lights being controlled. However, we also have uh, current monitoring in some of our devices now that, uh, that uh, load size can be directly me measured. In this particular example, we have a baseline energy uses based on, I think, 18 hours uh, a day of, of continuous usage. However, now the system will show you exactly how many uh, kilowatt hours, or you can express it in dollars, each of the different types of uh, controls is providing. Here, the lion's share is from an occupancy sensor, uh, or is from occupancy sensors throughout the facility. You can get some, some basic charts and graphs. You can actually dr drill deeper into particular zones and see uh, for 
one particular week, this has happened to be the current week, uh, what, the, what the different savings uh, measures and performance is. You can go even deeper and see over the course of the day uh, when, the, when the person first came in the space, uh, when the time delays might have timed down because they went to get coffee or whatever. You can zoom in even more. If you want to see you know, a, a, a tighter uh, zoom in on the actual time. Photo cell, same way. So if you actually want to look at uh, when the loads were just on or off, you can see that as well. If we scroll down, you can see in this particular room the, uh, the space was occupied for most of the day. We did have a cleaning crew probably here. Uh, all this information, again, is, is backhauled in the system. You can uh, download the data and line it yourself for uh, traffic patterns or, or other type of uh, analysis. However, all these screens that we provide uh, you know, are, are available uh, you know, immediately. There's reporting. If you click on reports, you can have all this information reported for a particular room to get uh, uh, a daily report. You can uh, have all this come from uh, Excel. If we go into the admin screen, we can do things like manage the actual uh, baseline energy for the, uh, for the green screen. Go to plugins. And then scroll down to uh, keep going. So this would be where you would potentially, uh, if you if you wanted to set different uh, electricity rates for off-peak, shoulder, peak, uh, you could set those time of days as well as the uh, you know the, the the power rate. You could change your baseline again to figure out how much energy you're actually saving. If you wanted to you know, show maximum savings, obviously you could make your your baseline 24/7, but more realistic would be you know, eight hours or 16 hours a day, and you can get a, a, an accurate report on exactly how your, uh, your end light system is saving you money. Another thing we're, we're launching here today uh, for the first time is our new uh, LightFlex uh, uh, tubular skylighting system. And you'll see it up here in the ceiling. We've left the ceiling good open so you can see it. Uh, LightFlex is from our Sun Optics uh, sister company under the Acuity Brands umbrella. And, uh, what it, what it is is it's bringing in skylight into the space through uh, tubular uh, skylights, and you'll notice that the the two fixtures that are uh, that are left on here, the two fixtures that are left off, uh, are actually look very similar to the LED fixtures in this room, but they're not actually LED, they're not actually lights. They are they're actually uh, skylights. So if I actually open up the, uh, the louver control, that's an Enlight enabled louver control, you'll see we get quite a bit of light in here. Uh, the Enlight enabled photo cell automatically then dimmed the two fixtures on either side. And you can quickly see how uh, an integrated approach to daylighting and the electric light, all with uh, Enlight enabled devices controlling them, is, is quite a powerful uh, system. <laughs>